All right, guys, I put the biggest racing cam I could in this 2.9. Near chop. Sounds amazing. Don't mind the little bit of smoke. It's fine. We'll give it a little rev here. Does sound like it has a cam, even though we didn't do anything to it. We just idled the, turned the idle screw up a little bit just so it'd stay running. And uh, it definitely loops, so it's definitely loading up. Um, we still haven't 100% figured out the problem with this thing yet. Um, I did give it a tune up. I fixed the injector wiring harness, uh, cap rotor plugs. I did not do wires yet. Uh, I don't think that's the problem, but uh, yeah. It's good enough to four wheel, I think. So I think we're just gonna kind of leave it at that. Um, we're very rarely idling four wheeling anyway. This thing doesn't have very much power, so it's pretty much wide open all the time. But it does sound like it's got a nasty cam chop. It's a Ford. What do you expect? Uh, up, up. You gonna stall? You gonna up, 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 up. <sighs> Fire back up here now. As you can tell, on the higher RPMs, it actually runs pretty decent, and it will idle for a little bit, and then just starts loading up and chopping. Actually, it's not doing bad there. Definitely a chuck engine light on. These things are kind of a pain. You have to jump a couple wires and uh, count the number of flashes to get the codes out of them. Maybe we just fixed it. It's actually idling now. Probably not. There's still something wrong with it, but I really don't think we need to spend any more time into uh, trying to fix this thing. Because it does run good enough to four wheel, like I said. So, oh, there it goes. Oh, it is what it is, guys. Even when it does run like this, we shut it off, turn it back on, we'll start it. It'll run actually good. And then as soon as that check engine light comes on, you can see the RPMs drop. So definitely probably a sensor of some sort that's out of whack. Maybe idle air control motor is a little lazy. I'm not real sure. It doesn't really hunt so much as it just starts loading up, but. It's a 2.9. What do you expect? We might as well go ahead and do this a little bit of a cleaning in this. Um, not that it makes that much difference, but there is a lot of just junk in here and this front carpet is just absolutely disgusting. So we don't need this. We're just going to get it out of here. It's just holding in moisture at this point. I'm a little afraid to see how the floors look, but it is, like I said, it is what it is. Um, we're going to get this stuff out of here. Hopefully if we get water in, it'll drain out easier without the carpet holding in moisture and uh, we got a bunch of stuff back here that, that could also go we'll get rid of this back carpet too um, like I said I'm sure we're gonna find some stuff that we don't really like but okay the carpets already cut around the seat so it should be fairly easy to pull out looks like somebody was partying in here cigarettes and beer good old Natty Bell and some Marlboros Let's see what else we can find Got it pretty much cleaned out here. Got the carpet out of the front and back. Not too many surprises. We knew there were some sheet metal patches in here. Um, that side's a little worse. You can see it's actually pushing up a little bit. You can feel the body move around as you're driving, four wheeling. Um, that side, um, the roll roll bar is probably pushing down through the floor a little bit. Um, the roll bar is not great. It's not fully welded. Um, this headliner. I do like the green, but it's falling down and making a mess. So we're just gonna rip all that out too. Um, it just, it's gonna pull right out. So 
no big deal there we'll get that out of the way um, we're not gonna vacuum this thing or anything but like I said once we uh, get down the mud and water and get this thing filled up it needs a place to drain there there are definitely plenty of holes for this thing to drain back out but um, we don't need it to hold moisture and just grow mold Fortunately, the seats are what they are. We'll brush them off a little bit and we'll be ready to ride again. We did discover, I think this is the inertia switch for the fuel pump laying here. It was kind of buried under the carpet. Um, I think it's been bypassed. One of the wires was actually hanging out of it and I stuffed it back in there. But uh, we'll start it up and if this thing is disconnected, bypassed, whatever, we'll just get rid of that too. Um, sure enough someone get their foot tangled up in that maybe we'll just throw it up under the dash and zip tie it or something but um, I'm pretty sure that's been bypassed it sounds like soon every time as soon as you turn the key on it sounds like the fuel pumps running constantly which is fine for what we're doing um, but let's give that a give that a shot and see if this thing is active or not as you can tell we are running if I pull this wire out, it doesn't do anything. So this thing's been bypassed, so we'll just get rid of that. Uh, we don't need it anymore. Saving some weight here, guys. Getting rid of all this junk out of here. Um, less stuff to fly around. And like I said, the, the, roll the roll bar isn't the best, but if we ever get in the circumstance where this thing is upside down, we're definitely gonna appreciate something around our head. So we're definitely gonna leave that in for now. Uh, we'll see where this project goes What's going on guys? We're in the Bronco today. We got it fired up. It runs it runs okay Sometimes it runs good. Sometimes it runs okay. We're gonna ride up the road here. We have a dirt gravel road on the side here and uh, Just give it a little test. We've been cleaning on it all day. Not all day. We've cleaned it out a little bit we'll Roll that footage in a little bit and uh, We're gonna get this thing out four wheel and real soon wasn't on before which is kind of all of them but it still runs all right guys one thing that's been holding us back from four-wheeling is a trailer so we're gonna jump in the turbo GMC here back it out and run and go check out a trailer I think uh, we found one that's been sitting for a while and that and I, I think we can get it it's probably gonna need some tires um, I'm gonna check it out see what we can do with it we definitely need a, a car trailer to move stuff around, transport. As you know, Send It Steve bought our last trailer. Um, it's working good for him. He's really putting it to the test, so we need another one.
we'll do a little bit of a driving video as we uh, go pick this trailer up. Wait until we get down these windy roads and get up on some spots where we can actually get some uh, boost going on. check the trailer out you might recognize that truck that's the one I, I wrapped there's this other truck the original one he wanted to match so let's uh, let's get out here and check this trailer out all right guys as you can see it's kind of nestled back in here it looks like we've got a mulberry tree or something and it's definitely been sitting here for quite a while it's got some stuff stored on it got some green moss but it's a decent trailer and uh, it's, I think we can do something with it for sure let's get it cleaned off and get it pulled out we'll probably have to pull it out of this spot to get it cleaned off but uh, can't get it done if we don't get started all right we got it cleared out enough to get the truck back in here let's get the GMC fired up and backed up in there and try and get it hooked up and we'll finish unloading it once we move it out of the way. As we made it home safe and sound <clears throat> with the turbo GMC and the trailer um, it did get dark on us so we couldn't really film any on the way home uh, the trailer did fine um, we'll give it a quick once over all the lights seem to work um, we'll grease the wheel bearings and like I said just give it a quick once over and we're gonna re go ahead and replace all four of the tires um, it, like I said it's been sitting for six or, <clears throat> excuse me six or seven years in the same spot so I'm sure the tires have dry rot and flat spots so to be safe um, we're just gonna go ahead and replace them all and uh, yeah GMC did good as always thanks for stopping by have a good day